When I was a little boy, my mother would take my two older sisters and I to the Taconic Crest Trail and hike up along the ridge and pick blueberries and so forth. I have always felt a massive presence in that area, always felt like I was being watched. Um, my house, this picture right here, shows the ridge and it's looking due east and you can see how close that area is to Williamstown where I grew up. So after years of going up there and feeling this presence, I was at the house on Route 7. I was a little boy playing behind the snowbank and it was winter out so it was dark at about six o'clock and I suddenly had this massively powerful feeling of being watched with deep intent towards me and it scared me deeply when I was a kid and I had nightmares for many many years and I must have been oh I was definitely in single digits when I was playing in the snowbank and so that stuck with me for a long long time and if you look at these reports it goes back to 1765 of people seeing Bigfoot and that type of thing going on in the area it's actually a very highly charged energetic area up in that particular ridge or those that particular part of the Green Mountains this sighting right here was as recent as 2015 and it was about a mile and a half up the road from where I grew up which is really interesting and as I do this research and I look at the sightings that have happened in the state of Mass and I mean it's a small state for you know and I've talked to quite a few researchers and they've told me that for every sighting that goes reported they you know there's like a hundred others that do not and I'm guilty of it too I've seen so many things I have ever reported any of it honestly but this is uh, a picture of where the trailhead starts to go up the Taconic Crest Trail. You park your car here and this footage right here is from the trailhead. It crossed Taconic Trail. That's looking due west into New York State. And this is due south. That's Berlin Mountain. My father uh, in a search plane for several air patrol looking for a crash plane saw a UFO go down behind that uh, while they were flying in the area. This is uh, South Williamstown so that's looking southeast and I've had this recurring dream for years and years and years since I was a kid of there being an installation or some type of a facility beneath the mountain directly behind the camera um, and it's always the same dream it's it's always the same dream now that's the Taconic tra Trail right there and that's the only road that cuts through this area and that's called Petersburg Pass that brings up there and there's a lot of UFO sightings and being reported there as well now this footage right here it, a trucker took and I put it on I sped it up a bit but this is to give you an idea of how thick the area is and I mean it's dense and what's interesting about this is at the end of this video coming up here this this driver captured a particular area where my friend had a sighting just past this hotel on the right he saw a uh, dark furry four-legged animal running across the road and there's a guardrail there on the right and when it reached the guardrail what it did was it put two hands onto the guardrail and threw its legs over the side and jumped over this now this is somebody who is I've never known him to lie and he told me he said I swear on my children that I saw this and it's just this bizarre um, area uh, and again the, the UFOs a lot of Sasquatch and this stuff has been documented over and over now just across town there's another place called Pine Cobble Mountain and I've had some experiences in there where I would I felt the presence of two of them one of them in that very close to that area I was walking down this path and I felt something and and I'm using my my 
well, my psychic abilities. I, I looked for this, this whatever I felt, and I came around the corner, and all of a sudden I felt this <coughs> very, very loud. And I felt that sound wave hit me, and I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bother you, but it was a young male that did not let me see him, but I think he made a mistake and didn't realize I was sensitive enough to sense him there. Um, and I think that's something to do with, with the way the, the, the Sasquatch and Bigfoot are, is if you see them, it's because they want you to see them or they've made a mistake. And if it's an older one, they probably have not made a mistake. The young ones are the ones that get in trouble. And this area right here, I mean, you can see how, how rich the area is in, you know, it's a wilderness area and it's easy for, for animals and, and creatures to, to hide in this area. Now, my brother-in-law back, back some years, uh, he's a retired forest ranger, but he was a supervisor of this particular state forest called October Mountain. And there are documented reports um, of people seeing these Sasquatch in the, the forest. Um, not only did they see it, but there were some hikers that uh, had stones hurled at them from this particular uh, Sasquatch in that area. Now, it's my experience from uh, the interactions, and I'll talk about the ones I've had in, in uh, Washington State, which were much more numerous, but the Sasquatch are kind of not, not different than, than us humans, where there are some that are very, very uh, kind and caring, and there are some that are not so kind and caring towards humans. And I mean, I guess it's understandable. They have been treated very poorly. They are highly advanced beings, and they have evolved beyond the point of needing technology. And that's something that many people have a hard time understanding, but there is such a thing as being so spiritual, you do not need technology. But these areas are very thick, and, and it's very common for them to be sighted in this area, 